What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. For those who are new, my name is Ace Noguera, and on this channel, I cover a wide range of topics in the photo, video, and travel space. So if that's something you're interested, consider subscribing. Now it's been a while since I've done a gear video, and in this one, I'm gonna take you through what I carry in my EDC Minimal Photography Kit. Now what that means is it's basically a kit that I grab and go, has the bare essentials. It's small, compact, yet comfortable to wear out on the town all day with no problems while still being able to handle everything I throw at it. Now for starters, the bag that I'm using is the Moment Travel Wear 2 liter Fanny Sling. This is one of my favorite bags because it's very compact, it's very comfortable, and still has all the space for everything that I put in this kit and more in case I wanted to expand it. Now one of the awesome things about this is there is a lot of pouches or different uh, compartments to add other items as well. Now my go-to lens for this particular setup is the Sony 50mm f1.8. The reason why I love this lens is because it gives me that really nice compression because of its focal length and it is extremely small and compact. Not to mention the autofocus is also really, really quick. Now coupled with this, what I also use is typically a Moment Cinebloom 10% filter. Now, if you don't know what that is, I will give you an example. It essentially diffuses the image and gives you a slightly softer look. This is really, really fun to use when I go out and shoot street photography because it gives you more of a nostalgic, like vintage film-like look. And that's something that I really, really enjoy. Now this is a 20% right here, but I'm gonna put it over the lens so you can kind of get an idea of that little bloom effect that it gives you, all right? So here you can see it's a little bit softer, but it, it is appealing to the eye. Now I usually just put the 10% on this setup because it gives me just a little hint of that diffusion there. And if I want to control that in post, I can do that. What I mean is essentially I can dial it back if I want to, or I can slightly increase it. Just using a program like Lightroom and adjusting the dehaze settings, I can actually increase it or decrease it however I see fit. But at least I have just a little bit of that diffusion to get the look that I want. Now, to keep things nice, compact, and small, I love using the A7C for this setup. It is a full frame camera by Sony, and it keeps it very, very tight and compact. As you can see, it fits basically in the palm of your hand. It's very easy to just carry around all day because it's not extremely heavy, nor is it really big, and it fits into that fanny sling perfectly. And this is a perfect segue into the wrist strap that I use. It is the Peak Design Cuff Wrist Strap. It is super, super comfortable. I love Peak Design's uh, patented design where they just have this little clip clips in easily, securely, and it is very, very tough. You won't be dropping your camera with this on your wrist. Not to mention, it is extremely comfortable, it's stylish, and you can also wear the wrist strap as a bracelet. So it is extremely convenient because when you don't have it, or you don't have the wrist strap attached to the camera, you can just wrap it around your wrist while the camera's in the fanny sling and you're good to go. Vice versa, it makes it very easy for you to just snap in the wrist strap to the camera using their clip system and you're good to go. Your camera's safe on your wrist and you won't have to worry about dropping it. Now the next item is simply a battery. I always have an extra one of these in my bag because it makes it really convenient when you run out of battery. Obviously, typically I tend to leave my camera on because to wake it up from sleep mode tends to be a lot quicker than if I'm switching it directly from on. And this allows me to always be a little bit more ready to capture that moment should it come up. And with that though, it generally does drain the battery just a little bit more than if you were to shut off the camera. So if I'm out all day, what I like to do is just have a spare battery just in case. Now I feel this wouldn't be a proper video if a knife was not involved, and that's what I got here. I've been using this knife for years now. It is the CRKT Squid folding knife in the stone wash finish. 
Absolutely love this knife. It has a really nice strong clip on the side of it. So it makes it very easy for me to just clip on my belt or my pocket or even the fanny sling and just head off. This thing is built like a tank. It, it does weigh quite a bit, but you do get used to it. It has a beautiful fold out action and that sound is so satisfying. Now another essential I have in this kit is a spare Lexar SD card. Now I've been shooting Lexar for uh, the past 10 years or so. I had a really bad mishap with a Sandus card when I was shooting on a job. And ever since then, that card got corrupted. I lost all those files and I wasn't able to deliver it to the client. And ever since then, I've switched to Lexar and I've never had a problem. Now the specific cards that I use are the V60 128 gigs. So this gives me a really quick uh, upload and download or read write speeds. So I can actually download it or upload it to the computer very quickly just as quickly as it can write to the card when I'm out shooting in case I do shoot a burst of images just to capture that particular moment. These have never let me down and there's typically a great sale on them in a pair. I have about eight of them because generally what I do is I won't delete a project that I've shot on it till that project is complete. So what I like to do is use those other memory cards in case I have simultaneous projects that I'm working on before one is completed on the card. Now I basically do this just so that I have another backup in case something happens to the other backup that I have on the computer. I will at least have the original files on the memory card safe and sound till that project is absolutely complete. And then I will wipe the card and continue on. And last but not least, if you guys know me, you know I like watches. This does not leave my side, especially when I go out on the town. It is the Tudor Ceramic Black Bay Watch. This thing is not only beautiful to me, it's made out of ceramic, a highly scratch resistant material. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. It is an automatic watch, which means it doesn't require a battery. All I do is basically wear it on my wrist and that will charge it up and I can use it for the whole day without any problems whatsoever. It's a beautiful piece that flies under the radar and if you don't know what it is, you would pay no mind to it if you just saw it out on the street. The movement is beautifully decorated. As you can see here, it's one of my favorite things about this piece and the way that the bezel plays with the light, I think is beautiful. Now, I mean, I could talk about it all day. I love this piece so much. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. As you can see, it just plays with the light so, so well. And guys, that is gonna wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel continue to grow. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. I do have a lot more really cool content in the works that I will be posting as soon as it's ready. And with that said, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.